Hot days in Vietnam. It seems like every other day the sun acts as an unforgiving entity just bearing down on us without pity, so we find ourselves near water to cool off. Since we're near water, we might as well go fishing, because fish live in water. But crickets don't, yet today they'll go for a final swim to cleanse themselves of a life that could have been slightly better. You know, ones without being hooked and baited, especially by a guy like me. Hi, I'm Kyle. It's a pleasure that you're here joining me today on this brief excursion not too far away from the city as we enter our own personal ruralness. Fishing and prison rule number one, don't drop the rod. I did just that, but I'll make it up to you by slowly panning upwards from the murky waters to clearer skies without distinct power lines in the background. Sure, you might argue that the tower and the lines reflecting in the water negates the natural beauty, but electricity is a lot more beautiful. Just think about it. Oh look, my pole is back. Oh wait, I dropped it again. Let's just go to Nina now. So what's the deal with fishing? Is it a sport? Is it a hobby? Some do it for survival. Some do it for entertainment. Some do it because they just want to escape the stress of the frantic real world by relaxing next to a fake body of water. Yeah, that's right. Fishing. I love it, but I'm not patient enough to truly worship it. Yeah. Fishing. That's what it's all about. Clouds and concentration, that's what fishing is all about. Then again, who am I to tell you anything about fishing? I mean, I haven't even caught a fish yet. I'm simply a fish fraud. Though my rod jutting out with a line attached, hoping to reel a catch in, hoping to reel the one. But sometimes you won't catch anything if you try too hard. These fish down here were happily teasing me about my failures. If only I had a net. A kaiole.net. You see what I did there? Though sometimes you just won't catch anything at all. You have to train yourself to not let the disappointment overwhelm you. Unfortunately, I never have this problem because I'm not a loser. Look at all the fish I caught after the fact. You're wondering, where's the footage of me reeling them all in? I'm sorry, but a true gentleman doesn't reel and tell. You can't see my secrets, come on. Anyways, these moments reminded me of the man with the red hat who I met down by the riverside, who fished catfish because it was the only form of entertainment he has after a grueling day of work, besides watching my YouTube channel daily with brand new amazing footage of his home country through the eyes of young Vietnamese abroad traveling and living in their motherland. What's that channel called again? In fact, he reminded me of a lot of myself. I see him in myself. At the end of the day, we're both Vietnamese, but I'm the better fisherman. But I'll have to admit, someone else is slightly better than me. Ah! Ah! Oh shoot, it looks like it's... it's oh shoot, ah! there, there it is! Ah! 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 Oh man, that's so heavy, dude. Ah! Ah! Yeah, let me help you with it. Ah! Now what? 